Hey YouTubers, so basically Entertainment Weekly is giving us our second official look at Jigsaw and honestly they don't necessarily give us anything more than that so we're basically going to have to look at this photo and just speculate based on what we're seeing here. So let's just do that. So honestly what we're seeing here is something I think is a little bit reminiscent, I'm sure you do as well, of Saw 5. You know you had the little v-neck uh, trap where they had to go get the keys. It looks a little bit like it's I guess maybe turned around for that matter. Um, looks like they're not necessarily being like chained somewhere. Maybe they might be being pulled somewhere uh, and they have to figure out a way to work together. Maybe that's particularly what's going on here. I'm not necessarily sure. So a couple things I really want to talk about here. Basically in the plot synopsis they told us that there's a couple grisly murders going around the entire city. It has everyone on edge and potentially, you know, Jigsaw's back. Everyone's like, oh my god, Jigsaw's back or oh my god, this is going to happen or whatnot, yada, yada, yada. And obviously, I don't necessarily think that Jigsaw himself, Tobin Bell's character, John Kramer, is actually going to be alive again. But hell, I don't necessarily know where they're going with this. I personally think it's some kind of copycat killer. I think the indication that it might be someone in the police force is something like a red herring, something just to kind of throw us off. They wouldn't make it that easy. These movies are built on twists. These movies are built on turny, uh, all over the place stories that we're not necessarily supposed to see coming. So that would be a real big uh, error on their part. And I don't necessarily think that's anything to really take too much stock in. But with that being said, I think it's kind of cool here. So basically, this is what I'm thinking. I'm not necessarily sure, but I have a couple theories. Is this our opening trap? Is this potentially our opening trap in the movie? It seems pretty big, it's kind of flashy, and it also is really reminiscent of a trap that we already know about. In fact, with the original canon of the seven films, this was the trap that Erickson, uh, Special Agent Erickson, kind of came in and rescued uh, 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 Malik and Britt at, and potentially they know about this. It was public record that these traps were basically put out there. So if there was a copycat killer going around, this would probably be a trap from the Saul 5 canonosity or whatever to kind of rip off because nothing in the original bathroom or even this uh, the Saul 2 house was actually made public, maybe, because they only had the tapes on the Saul 2 house, but it was indicated that they never necessarily found it because they then would have actually found the bathroom. So it would be interesting if the copycat killer is actually kind of taking or doing things that are kind of an homage to the known jigsaw traps in order to kind of show that yes this is the exact same guy and it's putting everyone on edge because like this is really reminiscent of what we were dealing with about a decade ago at least in the canon of the the series so i think that's really an interesting concept and tell me what you think about that in the con uh the descri description section below like i said it could be an opening trap because they did say in the plot synopsis that there's a bunch of grisly murders going around and are reminiscent so this is obviously really reminiscent another thing i want to talk about is is this going to be our uh our our teaser trailer coming up from comic-con so a lot of people have been asking about a teaser trailer or trailer uh when are we going to get an official one like i've said every single time we got to wait for comic-con they always gave us teaser trailers at comic-con so you just got to be a little bit more patient when we got a couple days and Make sure to come back here because we're going to be talking about it in depth. I mean, we're going to go really deep into that. So please make sure to come back about that. Anyway, I personally think, though, they have to do something big. They have to do something flashy when it comes to the teaser trailer. And they can't do what they used, they used to do. It was just like, you know, going through a digital hallway and showing words or showing sort of messages or something like that. Not necessarily giving us an idea of what's going on. I personally think that this is going to be like a full on scene for the trailer. That's what this is going to be. And then it's gonna kind of break down into some kind of a montage of all this other stuff that might include the Laura Vandervoort grain trap that we covered last week and just a couple shots of Tobin Bell or maybe even Billy the, du the puppet or something. And I would really like it and I think it'd be really awesome for them to kind of do an homage to Saul 3 when they had that first ad campaign where Billy looks to the camera and is like, hello, America. And everyone's like, oh, crap. Oh, man. Like, Jigsaw's back. Oh, my God. So I, I really think that that would be really super cool. I want that to actually be the case. But, I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Another thing I would really like to see with this, because, you know, there's pandemonium. There's not ever, like, the police doesn't necessarily what's going, know what's going on. And this is supposed to be Jigsaw's back after a decade. This is Jigsaw in the 21st century, modern day. This is what I would like to see. I want to see this trap 
instead of someone watching from the hallways or some kind of camera footage, I want this to be streamed live on the internet and people react to it. I want to see people reacting to these grisly, brutal murders. If this is our opening scene, to have it start up with people getting messages or just going viral on uh, Facebook or some kind of whatever they use, like Google or whatever, uh, Twitter, and people kind of tuning in to this trap going on live and just kind of creating pandemonium and fear and oh my god jigsaw's back and all this other stuff because they did the public trap once before in saw 3d and i always thought that they should have done that they should have made it kind of a social networking thing instead of actually having a ton of people watching from outside with no one being able to do anything i just thought you know that's a little helpless it's a little too showboaty but this is more like technology based and all that other stuff plus it would show, show that this person is actually doing something real different than his predecessor john kramer or mark hoffman or amanda young or anybody else um, one of the things I want to kind of jump off here and I was talking about earlier is if this is somebody who is supposedly the copycat that we all know and think that he is, he or she really, I think it'd be really cool, like I said earlier, if potentially if they're taking the stuff on public record because like I said, this is kind of more of a Saul 5 trap. It looks like the, the beginning of the Saul 5 traps where there five people are chained up. If they're kind of doing a riff on that, it would kind of make sense that they're taking things from public records and then they're they're implementing the, kind of the same idea into other traps and it would make a lot of sense with that become Jigsaw line. So it's not something that it might not be someone that Jigsaw like touched personally or maybe it was but it's someone who's taking steps based on things that we saw before so um, like homages to homages to uh things that we've seen throughout the original seven films at least at the very beginning when we're seeing all the deadly traps that the synopsis is basically winking at and showing us how this person is actually becoming jigsaw so the whole story throughout the entire first film of whatever new franchise this is is whoever's taking the place of jigsaw is literally becoming jigsaw and we're kind of following that little i guess uh story while also kind of dealing with john kramer's legacy and how he either gets written off the series or you know his swan song to the whole thing so make sure to tell me what you think about all of this i know it was a lot it was just basically a big rambling session based off this one picture that we've gotten but guys i am excited i am so excited for all of this i cannot wait to see the trailer i cannot wait to see the film and honestly guys if you're going to comic-con make sure to tell me in the comment section below because i am excited i'm super jealous uh, obviously if you're going to Comic-Con, then share, you know, go on my Twitter or in the comment section and just share your thoughts and opinions and make sure to share all this stuff about that. If you're not going to Comic-Con, please make sure to tell me, you know, just kind of sit there in the comment section with me and just be really super depressed that we're not necessarily going to get there, be there and freak out about the new footage and everything they're going to be talking about there. But hopefully they post some of it online. Definitely there's going to be some articles. Definitely they are going to be putting whatever footage they debut online. So we're going to be able to talk about that at some point. And honestly, guys, I hope everyone has a good day. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Don't forget to you know share this video out to all your friends. Don't forget to hit that bell over by the subscriber button because you're going to want to come back here here for more jigsaw news discussion videos other movie news television stuff and anything else you know box office stuff and all the other stuff i do on this channel there's a lot of it uh plus i want to be doing later this summer i want to be doing a rewrite kind of of or how i would have actually done saw 3d saw 7 the final chapter what have you i have think i've actually cracked that story so if you want to actually wait around and you know, see what my take on that movie would have been going through the first six films, taking stuff from those first six films and basically utilizing it in some way, shape or form to the greater, you know, whole or the final chapter that was originally supposed to be Saul 3D, then make sure to subscribe for that because I'm hoping to get it done later this summer once I'm done with classes. So guys, with all that being said, I'm going to close it off. I hope everyone has a really good day. I hope everyone's really excited for this film. I know I am. And honestly, guys, I hope everyone just has a good day. It's been real.